Hi, this is Moni from BTE Magic. So today I'll be showing you my new experiment and this time it's going to be the reading part. So if you watch my other videos, you probably saw how I skipped certain parts just to see the impact of the other ones on the test score. But this time I only completed the reading part and skipped all the others. So I did uh, multiple choice questions, reorder paragraph and also fill in the blanks. So let's check the result. So when I checked the result, I was kind of disappointed because I expected a much higher score than that, uh, partly because I answered all the questions correctly. And if you remember, I actually did test C before and got 90 for reading. So why my result is not 90? The answer is uh, the reading score doesn't only come from the reading part but it also coming from the speaking with a lot uh, writing summary written text as well as listening highlight correct summary and highlight incorrect words okay but what struck me was the fact that I got 40 for writing without doing any writing this actually leads me to the point that filling the blanks reading and writing have critical impact on your writing score and it also has certain influence on your grammar score the, the questions you might ask is how can I improve and if I say that you should practice it's not a cliche uh, it really is about your knowledge of grammar and your collocations and occasionally it's also about your vocabulary levels um, so there's certain requirement for each uh, target score like for 50 or for 65 or 79 so before I show you the recording of me doing the reading part I just wanted to let you know that I will have online classes available and please like and follow our new Facebook page PTE Magic International to stay updated and also please feel free to leave a comment or questions below if you have any thank you going to quickly go through this session because um, I've already posted another video on this task before um, so we're not going to go into details First, we need to read the question. According to the text, in which of these organizations might one expect labor costs to exceed 50%? And then we're going to find this information in the text about organizations, labor costs, and 50%. So the first sentence says, education and health labor costs may form more than half of the total running cost of an organization. It says education and health. So in the options, we can stay language school, which is education, and dental practice, which is health. According to the text, what are the difficulties in developing a country enable robot? Okay, the options are really long, so we're not going to go through all of them. Um, but we have to find something about difficulties in making those country enable robot. Where's Kansei? Kansei, yep. Kansei enable robots. Complicated task. Need to make use of sensors worn by the owner to spot signs of stress. 
Then be able to decide how best to react to okay, the person. Intuitive behavior. The robot user has to wear complex equipment in order to allow the robot to respond appropriately. This is the paraphrase of the sentence that we just found in the text. Next one. You have to find the robots again. There are the robots in here. Downside means the disadvantage. Okay, Motion, emotional state. The more complex its software becomes, it means complex process. So it's like difficulties again. Mm -hmm. So we need, let's find this is not it. Social skills are easy to define, mm, doesn't mention. The range of human reactions cannot be reduced to a manageable level of programming. Yeah, it's the same as this part here. Human emotional state, complex. Researchers do not yet have an appropriate theoretical context for this complex technological challenge. It doesn't mention. Okay. The other paragraph is actually the third most important part in the reading. Um, so we firstly need to identify the sentences that are independent, meaning that they can stand on their own. Let's just read the first one. Starting with the word for example, so can't be the first one. The apparent paradox, which paradox? The deadline is necessary to avoid a confusion that would otherwise result. It has the word otherwise, so can't be the first one. The international deadline is an imaginary line on Earth's surface. Mm -hmm. The same problem, which problem? It's not clear in here. So this one should be the first. And the topic is the international deadline. The international deadline is an imaginary line on Earth's surface, generally following the 180 degrees meridian of longitude, whereby international agreement travel to change dates. The next one should talk more about the details of the deadline, um, which is the this one here. The deadline is necessary to avoid a confusion that would otherwise result. Okay. This means that it will help the travelers to avoid confusion about the dates. The next one, it gives an example of the confusion. Um, so it says that even people travel with 24 hours elapsing, they still have the same day as people that on the ground. And in that sentence, it mentioned that people travel westward. They both travel westward. In this one, the same problem will arise if two travelers journey in opposite directions. Okay, this one is the opposite to the first to the previous one. So the last one should be the apparent paradox. It's resolved by requiring that the traveler crossing the deadline change his date, thus bringing the travelers into agreement when they meet. Okay, this one. Let's read the first one. Then can be the first one. Due to increasing demands, people in every organization are pushing themselves to the limits. Might be the first one. Individuals arrive early to get work done before the phone start ringing and the meeting begin. Meetings begin. Might be the first one. These are signs for management to stop. Oh, it has the word this. This one, it has they. We don't know who they are. So, this one or this one. Mm, this sentence looks more like a topic sentence. Okay, it introduces us to the topic, and then followed by this one here. Individuals arrive early to get work done before the phone starts ringing and the meetings begin, and after that they stay late to get work done, to get more work done. Okay, and then um, I say these are the signs for management to stop raising the performance bar each year, lest the staff become time bankrupt. Yeah, this is about right. And the conclusion was, I would say, clearly they need to avoid this situation. They in here means management. 
okay, from the previous sentence. There's duplicity in Frost's poetry and there's certain doubleness in the figure that he, as a poet, should be a verb in a third form. And there's only one, which is project with S. I like to think of his obsession with meanings, which he has as a way of responding to a division in culture between popular and elite readers. Uh, should be adjective doubleness and we see duplicity so there's something about double meanings okay meaning two meanings in here a division that he saw as something of a division in american culture between money and self and esteem pieces and art okay so it represents the difference in money and esteem business and art of a division I will say expressive. So a division that expresses a division in American culture. In the paper Bioscience, two researchers show that reintroducing the wolf was something with increased growth of willow and cottonwood in the park. Um, reintroducing the wolf related to the increased growth of willow. So I will say it should be a verb in a passive form with ed for regular verbs uh, claim denied or correlated um, so the appropriate answer will be correlated okay the reason is that grazing animals such as gill were something er sites from which they couldn't easily escape were should be a verb with ing because it's uh, past continuous and so should be seeking, avoiding or seeking, but because they can't escape from it, I will say avoiding. The scientist hmm, claim or deny it, but because it is the fact that is the reason, it should be claimed. And as the woody plants and trees grew taller and thicker, beaver expanded. So beaver goes with colonies. What can computer science tell us about what biological systems do and how they do it? Can this chemical information processing functions be in digital computing systems? Um, should be a passive verb related to computer, replicated or repeated. So I will say replicated because uh, basically they have to copy the same information in digital computing systems. What are the of developments in computer science? Should be noun and a means should be a noun in plural form implications or insights because insights go with into there's no into in here so it should be implications Aaron Sloman author of computer revolution in philosophy into the world of connections we need to find a verb in a third form because it's one person that goes with into and it's doves, doves into something providing new new adjectives goes with noun into and remember I say that insights goes with into so we choose insights insights into fundamental questions Another way of looking at personality is the behaviorist approach. According to the behaviorist, the inner of the consciousness are not important, are not meaning we have to choose a noun in plural. So we have workings, personalities, experiences, experiments, stimuli, facts, arguments, problems, all in um, plural. 
but the most suitable one is inner stimuli because we know about external stimuli. Therefore, our I learn primarily through our so behaviors. Behaviors is similar to personalities. So I'll say the missing word is personalities. I learn primarily through our working experiences because it says inner stimuli are not important which means they are emphasizing on the external experiences all right experiences the theories of behaviorism arose through largely on animals something goes with animals on animals experiments i'll say experiments on animals in which behaviors were learned through carefully controlled workings, facts, no, arguments, no, problems, no. But if we have to do the exclusion method, I will say working is, um, is the most suitable here. The process outlined for the submission of papers is mainly intended to address which of the following problems. Outline for the submission of papers. Okay, so we're just going to skim quickly. Um, the first part is not the main point. We have to find problems. Okay, the second part it says, I declare that this assignment is original and has not been has not been submitted for assessment elsewhere. Okay, reproduce the assignment and provide a copy to another member of faculty. Uh, communicate a copy of this assignment to a plagiarism checking service. Okay, they're trying to avoid the situation where students copy the work of other people because the plagiarism is the key word here. So we choose the second option. According to this passage, social scientists use written sources to okay the keyword here is use written sources I use particular method to gather qualitative evidence from observation to interview, but they also use autobiographical accounts journalists and other documentary material so this this is all written sources okay what do they do to flesh out and add meaning? To statistics. The first option is formulate questionnaire and interview questions, advise them on how to collect qualitative evidence, add information to other data they have collected, and change the understanding of numbers. So the third option is <clears throat> kind of similar to the sentence that we found before. So we'll have to go with the third option. <laughs> 